everyone welcome back to my channel woman on a journey if you are new here my name is emily and i'm going into my second year of homeschooling and on this channel i talk about all things motherhood living a healthy lifestyle homeschool and faith so if any of that interests you be sure to hit that subscribe button below and click that bell on the side that'll give you notifications for whenever i post new videos you can also check me out on instagram at a woman on a journey blog and you can visit my blog at a woman on a journey.com so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what we're going to be doing for history slash geography for first grade. Um, this is not a requirement for my state to teach any of this. However, I do want to expose my son and give him some knowledge to our country, um, to the countries around the world, and just giving him some history about the United States. And so primarily my goal was to just be very simple and just teach him through through reading and that's exactly what i'm going to stick to however i did find a curriculum that was free online now what i liked about this curriculum is it did touch on a little bit of everything that i wanted to introduce to my son and it's very simple it's not going to take a lot of time we are going to be doing history and geography twice a week um if we end up doing it once a week for you know because we had a, a week that just we couldn't get to it a second time then it's not really a big deal um i'm not going to stress about it or anything like that but we will um we will be covering it and so i'm going to be sharing with you the books that i'm going to be using as well as a peek inside the curriculum that I did find and I will link everything that I show you down in the description so if you're interested you can go ahead and click those links. So the curriculum that I am sharing with you is by Miniature Masterminds and I feel like I read somewhere or maybe I even watched a video of someone with this curriculum. I really can't remember um, but I had saved it on my computer, I guess, a while ago, and I didn't realize it. And I just came across it a couple of days ago. And I was just like, I didn't realize I had this on my computer the whole time. So originally, what we were just going to do, um, as far as any kind of workbook stuff, was the Evan Moore Skill Sharpener Geography, grade one. And I, we're still going to do this. This is really simple. I like the fact that it teaches kids about, you know, what a map is. It has hands-on activities. It goes through visual literacy, through reading. Um, it also gives you the world map. So it teaches them how they're supposed to read a map. It teaches them the different states. It teaches land and water. And so all of these, what I like about this is that they're all activities and my son is all about activities. Everything, if it has an activity, then he's he's down to hear anything you have to tell him as long as there's an activity after it. So um, that's where this book um, is simple and just comes in handy for sure. So this was originally what I have purchased to go along with the books that we're going to be reading. But in addition to this, I will be incorporating this curriculum and I'm only going to be taking bits and pieces of this curriculum. This is a five day a week curriculum for 36 weeks. So this covers the whole school year. It's a full curriculum, like I said, but we will not be covering everything in here. I'm basically just going to be taking what I feel is important for us to go over and these are very short, so there might be some things that we go over two things in one day. Just because these lessons look like they won't take any more than about 10 minutes anyways. And so Fridays are going to be a day that I want to definitely implement history, science, arts and crafts, anything like that. And kind of scale back on the, the core subjects. And so I definitely, I know that we'll have more time on Fridays to do certain things. So that's probably when we will do a little bit more. And then another day during the week, whether it's a Tuesday or Wednesday, then we will choose one of those days to spend probably about 15, 20 minutes on one of these lessons as well. So that's kind of how we'll go about this. I really like that it's teaching about the Pledge of Allegiance. It talks about our flags. It talks about what a citizen is. 
and it goes over the what a president is the symbols of america And then it even has some activities in here too, which is really nice. So you can learn how to make molasses cookies. So that's just a little bit of what it looks like inside. Um, the link, like I said, will be down in the description. It's free. So you can download the PDF if you're interested. And you actually don't have to do anything else. If you just want to do this and that's it, then you're good to go. <laughs> so, but I thought this was really great because we can reinforce whatever it is that we're reading um, with this curriculum. So now I'm going to share with you the books that we're going to be incorporating and how we're going to really be focusing on learning all the history and geography that we're going to be doing. So the first ones I want to share with you are Little Legends and Little Leaders. So Little Legends is Exceptional Men in Black History and Little Leaders is Bold Women in Black History. So I got these books back in January. We were able to go through a couple of the leaders in here, but not many of them. So I really do want to be able to go through more of these throughout the year and, um, and learn a little bit more about these people. So I'm excited to be able to go through these. We are going to be pulling out more books from the library than anything. I'm trying to not spend so much on books unless it's something that I know for certain that we will read again and again. And so I'm being really careful with what I am buying. And so I will be utilizing the library a lot for what we'll be reading. So these books I'm sharing with you are what I have for right now, but we will have more books than this. And if you guys are interested in finding out what those books are, then I'll share that information with you in another video. Just let me know in the comments. The other book that we have, this is a book we've already had for a little while, but we haven't touched it. It's the National Geographic Little Kid's First Big Book of the World. And so this was actually gifted to him by a family member. And it's a great book for young children. So from what I glanced at at this book, it's basically touching on animals, sites, and even some of the people in different countries. But more, it's more focused on the continents rather than specific countries. So this is really simple and also touches on the weather as well. So it's it's very simple and it will touch on certain landmarks in different cities or states depending on where um, what it's talking about. But this is a nice general overview. So what I wanted to do is use this as a reference point for some of the things that we're gonna be learning. So once we start learning specifically about continents, then we'll talk about, we'll read it from this book, and then we'll go into specific countries in that continent. And so that's where the DK book, um, Our World in Pictures, Countries of the World, this is where that will come into play. And so this is a little bit more in depth. Now this is not covering every single country in the world, but it has a good majority. I mean, there's actually some countries in here that I haven't even heard of. So I really like that. I really like that this book is very detailed. The DK books are all very detailed, but this one touches on food, sites, people, uh, different places there. So I really like that. I think the pictures are great. And... Um, and it's not too much information. I think that's a, a big thing for me where it's like, I want to have a good amount of information, but I don't want it to be too much and overwhelming where he's just not going to be interested anymore or I'm going to take the joy out of it because I'm like, you know, sit still, and listen. <laughs> so he's, he's, he's five, he'll be six in November. And so I, I want to be as gentle as I can with it and I want to make it fun. And so um in addition to this we do have a subscription box that we are are doing I mean, we just started it recently and it's called hola amigo and though it is a bilingual um subscription box you don't necessarily have to be spanish if you're interested in learning spanish then that subscription box is a, a great simple way 
to introduce it to your family, to your ch to your children. And I do have an unboxing video that I did of our first subscription box down in the description. You can check it out or I'll link it at the end of this video. But that subscription box is great because it's also giving an introduction to other countries, cultures, and it has arts and crafts included in it. So when we're doing any kind of history um, or geography learning on a Friday, that's also our arts and one of our arts and craft days. And so that is something that we will also be incorporating when we're spending time on any kind of history. So depending on what country our subscription box is based on that month, you might be able to find that country in this book and read a little bit more about them. The next book is another DK book. It's called Children Just Like Me. And this book, I have been eyeing it for a while. And so it seems like a simple book. Um, I don't see that it has as many countries in here. But I do like the fact that you're learning a little bit more about the children that live in that country, what their lifestyle is like, what they do for fun. You can even see how they write their name in their language. And so I really like that about this book. So I think this book will be really great as we learn about other countries and cultures. Um, we can actually learn about how the children live and dress and do what they do for fun out there. And so I really like this book. I'm gonna try to hold on to it as long as I can and um, and see how, how it works out for us. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. If you did, please give it a thumbs up as it does help me with my channel. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.